Hey guys, Jane here from the Burrick Galaxy Scale Model Show, and it's time for a wrap up. All right, guys, great, great, great show. We had a ton of fun. Uh, first things first, big, big shout out to the Burrick School. They uh, they allowed us to take over their gym and the surrounding facility, and uh, it was just a great location. Amazing sound system. Usually, we just take the guitar amp with a microphone. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise to get there to find out the huge, huge auditorium sound. Uh, just made it a great, great venue. Um, just all around, perfect lighting. Um, it was really cool. They got um, their cafeteria tables or a double table that folds up. So we had 16 feet of table with benches per unit, and we did a bunch of those laid out. Made a bit of a barrier, and when you were voting it, they gave you a chance to sit down and get close to the model. So big, big thank you to them, uh, especially to the principal. Uh, uh, Mr. Doucette there, he really, uh, he was really on board and really game to help us out too, so thanks a million guys. Um, let's throw some stats at you, I had to write them down because it's, I don't want to get them jiggered up again this year. We had 44 participants in the model show, 176 models, so we averaged about 4 models per person. There were a few guys, one of our group members showed up with, I think, 12, and another gentleman showed up with 19 models for the show, uh, and that would be Mr. Ian Chandler, our first year winner. He showed up quite a few because he missed last year, so he had a lot on the plate there. Um, the toolbox raffle generated a lot of money, which was great. 50-50 also generated quite a bit. And uh, you know what was really good, guys? This is really, really proud of this, is our intake of money that came in for the model show was more than our expenses and more than our annual recurring costs. So guess what, guys? We get to make a donation back to the town this year for the children's programs, which is the skating and, um, and guiding and, and scouts and our recreational department stuff, day camps, all that is what this money would help fund. So we're really, really proud of that. Guys, we gave away a best in show trophy. Not this one, you guys seen it, the smaller one. This is our this is our crown jewel that we take to all the shows to promote ourselves. Uh, Kaylee's Choice Award went away. Uh, we did six spectators choice and we did 48 medallions, gold, silver, and bronze. So we were, uh, we gave away a bit of stuff, so it was fun. And uh, the door prizes were great. We had more than we needed. So that means everybody got something and every one of the first place winners in each category was able to walk it with something as well. So whew, that was stressed me up. We did it and we had to thank our sponsors for that. Elm City Hobbies really came through. Uh, Nautilus a model, Nautilus uh, Aquatics and Modeling stepped up. Maritime Hobby. Um, our YouTube guys, you know who you are. Uh, those guys that came out with us and helped us out clearly scale. Um, a bunch of private donations as well come through. Uh, really, really helps. It was really great. We enjoyed that big time. Um, let's see here. Where do we at? It was really, 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 really great. Was our junior category was up huge this year, and we seen a lot of juniors walk through the door, excited to see all the models, and went straight to the make and take table. Uh, we actually had some of the old 172 scaled airplanes and stuff like that, the old Matchbox and Revell and Monogram ones that you guys might remember putting together way back when you were kids. We had a whole load of those. One of our staff members came through with a huge box of glue we purchased on the way down. He stopped in one model show, shops, bought glue, put that on the table as a donation, and uh, each kid walked away with a tube of glue and a kit to go home and get some stuff ready for next year. Uh, Drew, one of our staff members, worked make and take table all day. He said sometimes it was overwhelming. But it was great to see kids getting into it. You mentioned some of the kids said that they were there. They came by last year and did the same thing. And were excited and they were seen it on the schedule. And we dragged the parents down to get them there. On the topic of dragging the parents down, we had a lot of foot traffic. Now we shared the gym. We took over three quarters of the gym for our show, and a quarter of the gym was for a business expo going at the same time. And our registration table was right at the entrance to the gym, and uh, the girls working the front desk were asking. You know, are you here for the model show or for the, the, uh, to the Business Expo? And 99% of people walked through and said, we're here for the model show. So we generated a load of foot traffic, which was great. It means people went out of their way to come to our model show to check it out. That made me feel really good about what we've done. Um, we've already covered tables of sound. Like every year, we I sit on the committee as well for gala days, and it's always been the problem with all the events. We don't have enough tables, so it's something you need to look at. But you know what? The school donating the tables they had really helped us out too. Um, last but not least, the staff. The staff that we have on our, our committee here and the volunteers that we get to help us at the day of the show, we really cannot do it without them. They worked super hard, 
those tables are heavy, we've got to drag those around, it's up late nights trying to find stuff, put things together, it's a stressful day, We're working the tables, working the 50-50, working the raffle, dealing with people, directing people in the right directions, it's a lot of work, and guys, you out there who run model shows, you know how hard it is, so thanks a million to all my, uh, my staff members and everyone who helped us. Can't thank enough. I think I reached out to almost every one of them uh, privately through Facebook messages, phone calls, thanking them. You know, great, great, great. We've had some new guys come on. Matthew uh, come on this uh, this time around, and uh, he was a, he was a godsend. He worked his ass off that day. Finally, got a big, a big, big, big shout out to Christy, my wife, and Melissa, who um, who show up the day of the show. Christy does a lot of the background work, but the day of the show, they work from six thirty in the morning until 3.10, cramming data, cramming numbers, double checking everything to get results off to our MC of the afternoon, which was Mr. Rod Reeves of Valley Volkswagen, who used to do radio, who was an amazing voice, who can project and can really keep the crowd alive when they're doing the presentations, and uh, it was flawless this year. Just great, we couldn't do it without those guys, so once again, thanks a million. All right, guys, that was the show. Now we get to brag a little bit about what we did at the show, Northview Model Shop. We took a bunch of models, the F-105. We took our Sherman Tank Plow, which we modified a little bit for, for another run at her. The Rack Kenworth, uh, the Watson Space Spot, and the Spat to help, help, to help fill up the theme. We got a few votes, surprisingly, when I was checking the data sheets. We had a little friggin' fly coming through there. We got a, um, like a ninja, I caught that. Um, we got actually a vote for that, which surprised me because it was just kind of a meh, whatever. But uh, we did walk out with an award. We um, we got a bronze with our Sherman tank, which I absolutely cannot believe because the quality of tank stuff out there was amazingly crazy good. So the pull something out was great. And we got a silver in the heavy equipment category with the wrecked Kenworth, which I still find hard to believe because... I don't think that's a great model, I think it was kind of crappy, but people seem to think it was great done, really great when we modified it and worked with the broken stuff, so crazy. Um, especially with what was in that category, our buddy Brandon won hands down with his, uh, his uh, Lone Star uh, record body truck, that was super cool. But there was uh, a guy showed up with trains and we had no place to put him, so we threw him in with heavy equipment commercial, that's where we were sitting. And uh, he did some rolling stock that was highly modified and I thought it was amazingly good and he had it wrapped up. To beat him was just insanely cool, but anyway, great time we had. Uh, we had fun, and uh, I've noticed in the last three years doing the show, the quality of the kits that are sitting on these tables are just getting better and better and better and better each and every single year. So, guys, it's going to be tough next year. I really want to put my name on this trophy. I doubt it'll ever happen, but we are going to continue to try. But guys, you know what? Next year we're at it again. Labor Day weekend, Berwick, Nova Scotia. If you can make the trip. Please come out next year. Special theme is rat rods. More to come when we uh, when we put some stuff together for this winter into the spring. But guys, if you want to get your name on this trophy, come on out. Give your best shot. All right, guys. Once again, thanks a million to each and every one of you as sponsors, and thanks a million for everyone who tuned in and went out and said a special thanks to our sponsors and tuned into all the videos. But anyway, guys, thanks a million for another successful year. Adios.